All right, so you want to install a door sweep or you just want to replace the one that you already have, either for an interior door because of, let's say, noise for soundproofing or for an exterior door for maybe noise, but mostly for weather of the elements. And the thing that a lot of people don't really realize is that if you have a door sweep that leaks air in or out, if you're losing heat inside the house and cold comes in, then your heating cost will rise. So before you think that your door sweep is fine, maybe go underneath the door sweep and check to see if all of the rivets are still there. Because it might look fine if it's installed to the door, but really feel on the underneath to make sure that all of the material is still there and intact. Also in this video, I will show you a trick that basically nobody is talking about. Every video that I've seen almost that how to install door sweeps, they don't really mention this little trick that I'll be talking about in this video and that is particularly important for the doors that are exterior doors and for door sweeps that are like this. These are the U-shaped door sweeps and this is what I would recommend if you want to basically put a door sweep on an exterior door. The reason for this is it just works a lot better. The thing is these door sweeps are some of the more expensive door sweeps. If you're looking for a door sweep for interior doors, I would not really go with this. I would mostly just go with a door sweep like this. A, it's, it's an industrial made door sweep with the rubber quite thick and it's it, it'll just last a very long time and it works great for soundproofing for the door. And if you are wondering if you actually need a door sweep on an interior door that you have, just turn off all the lights on in the room that you're in and turn the lights on in the room where the door sweep is going to be installed. If there's light coming from underneath the door, then you would have noise also coming. But one thing to note is if you install a door sweep and you really close off that bottom gap on an interior door, there will be a restricted airflow throughout the house and into that room. So make sure that basically the door sweep that you're installing for inside the house, it's only for when you're actually really needing it for soundproofing. So just make sure that your door is not always closed because that's not really good for airflow inside your home. Okay, so the two door sweeps that I recommend for a exterior door, a metal door would be, as I said, the U-shaped door sweeps. And as I said, these are the more, more expensive ones, but really between paying $5 or $15, $5 for something that doesn't really work versus $15 for something that actually works, then it is a good compromise. Now this is something that you can easily do yourself. The only thing is if you have, if it's for an exterior door and it's a metal door, then obviously you'll need a drill and it's a lot better to make pre-drilled holes. However, the holes are right here as shown and you always want to have this side of the door sweep facing the inside of the house and this section on the outside of the house. I'll have links in the description below of everything I talk about in this video, including the door sweeps and the acoustical caulking. Now these links will lead you to Amazon and they are affiliate links, which means if you use those links to buy the items off Amazon, I get a small commission. Now this commission will just help me grow my channel and it's a way for you to support my content without costing you absolutely anything and also it gives you I usually do a lot of research for which door sweeps or whatever I recommend I make sure to research to make sure that I am recommending you the best product at the best price now one thing that I would avoid is these types of door sweeps they're about three or four dollars and they are extremely flimsy now this section this little rubbery type section this will this will drag on the floor in and out and the problem is this this material is very flimsy and will catch on the pebbles and will eventually just it, it won't last and you'll have holes at the bottom and it, it just won't do its job now this type of rubber as I mentioned this is the one that I'd recommend it's more of an industrial type and it works a lot better 
Now this door sweep you will have to cut to size so all you'll need is a small saw to do that. Now a lot of videos I find, now a lot of videos that they install door sweeps, they usually take the door completely off to install the door sweep. This is actually not really necessary unless you're going to want to drill holes at the bottom of the door sweep which isn't really necessary because we will be placing some caulking inside the door sweep. Now the caulking that I use is acoustical caulking and the reason for that is because it remains rubbery over time. It doesn't, it doesn't dry up like regular cheap caulking and then cracks. And the reason that you'd want to put caulking at the bottom is because it will stick better to the bottom of the door. Another thing that a lot of people aren't talking about is this section right here. Now on your screen, you will see a little crack at the bottom of the door where the door sweep basically meets the door. And this crack will eventually let water in. So what you will want to do is also add some caulking on this section of the door sweep. All right, as you can see now, the door sweep is perfectly aligned on the door. Now, when you install the door sweep, you'll want to make sure that you don't have it completely flush to the door because as you're pushing your door sweep, all of the acoustical caulking will just rub off. So now that it is in position, I just push it upwards. I stick it on to the door and then you just make sure that the door sweep is indeed touching the floor. Now it doesn't need to touch the floor completely because here you have a section at the bottom of the door. Now here all you do is you make sure that all of your caulking I have a little bit of caulking that it just spewed out a little bit. So you just pass your finger and you make sure that it is completely sealed. Now here, there's absolutely no cracks and no way that the water is going to get in. All right, so there you have it. That is an easy way to basically bring your heating and cooling costs down just by spending 10 to $20 max on a door sweep. And I would suggest using the caulking for the door sweeps that you will be installing for exterior door. Interior door, it's not really necessary because it's not really for noise control. It's more for any water to get in between the bottom of the door and the top of your door sweep. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, leave them below. If you have any suggestions on future videos, please let me know. What would you want to see? What would you want me to talk about? Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.